angucken. Enough talk and anticipation, folks. Break out those deposits and ye shall receive. Welcome to Money in the Bank. We are coming to you live, eager to hear that opening bell. We're ready to kick things off, as you can tell by the sound of the crowd around me. If you even think about changing that channel, you'll regret it. Stay tuned. Now it's time for one of the most anticipated Money in the Bank matches anybody can remember. Don't change that dial. We have Neville taking on all... Up next, we have six of the biggest names in WWE set to do battle. Prime time! We have Neville against five of WWE's toughest competitors. Whoa, this could end up being nominated for a Slammy. The following contest is a battle royal, and it is for the championship. And introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Introducing the champion from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Weighing in at 226 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Chris Jericho. Listen to this crowd. No one gets a reception like Y2J, Chris Jericho. Uh, you're right. He's one of the most popular entertainers in all of WWE. And there's a good reason for that. That's the look of confidence right there.
And introducing the challenger, representing D Generation X, from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 225 pounds, and introducing the challenger, from Canada, weighing in at 203 pounds. And to my left, the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And I will tell you something, Michael, this might well be one of the most highly anticipated nights of the entire year. This is gonna be good. He almost took his head off with that lariat. He's inflicting some serious pain here. It's been a wild ride for Chris Jericho, but that title reign may very well come to an end here tonight. He clearly has no regard for the rules, which is probably why he hasn't been able to win over many fans. Well, I've seen competitors get lost in the shovel with all that talent and the ring at the same time, but I don't think we have to worry about that here. Plenty of confidence being shown right now. <laughs> Who cares what anyone thinks of you? I mean, if they are not signing your checks, then they shouldn't matter. Jericho's skill set is as vast as anyone I've ever seen. Y2J can match speed and aerial attacks with luchadors, grapple with wrestling and submission specialists, and throw down with brawlers. And he can outthink strategists. Jericho also loves informing everyone on the microphone of his many, many talents. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. He's on the defensive here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. But it's important to note this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. Great point, John. And he doesn't seem too phased at this point. You know, Cole, we've seen it time and time again. Jericho uses his mastery of psychological warfare to get into an opponent's head. Then he uses his physical skills to kick the, well, you know what, out of the individual. Man, Y2J is good. A stiff axe handle. Wow, that was a wild strike. Oh, my gosh. He's been eliminated from the match. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this time. What a match. It's a good point, John. Jericho's been Jericho eliminated. eliminated. That landed perfectly. Hey, I like what I'm seeing here from Sami Zayn. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. The challenger not looking good right now. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. You said it, and he does not want to let his opponent gain some steam here and start to get the upper hand. Guys, come on, let's not get too crazy here. We've seen that he can absorb a heck of a lot of punishment and still keep coming. And the big boot connects. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Now it is show-off time. Don't waste time floating here. A bad place to be for the challenger. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. Wow, these guys aren't giving an inch, but at some point, one of them got to start pulling away, which is what we might be seeing right now. With an ego like this, you better be able to back it up. And 
as we'll find out if that's the case here tonight. Sami Zayn sees the chance to go aerial. Sami Zayn is feeling the WWE Universe. He's not looking like himself here. Did he expect it when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match? My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to... And there goes the superstar! His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's love. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees a belt, he likes to hit below it. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted in there. It looks like he's starting to feel the pressure of competing in this championship match. Don't be fooled, Michael. He's still very much in this thing. Oh, man. He really needs to find a way to battle back from this. Otherwise, this one's over. If you asked me at the beginning of the night, I'd tell sure. The challenger just refuses to be denied here tonight. He may be in the best battle. Oh, he's 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 him off the top rope, out of the floor below. Reversal. Braun Strowman showing his skills. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Braun Strowman putting it on him right now. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will get everything they have to win here tonight. Oh, that goes without saying, Cole. The WWE Championship, it's what it's all about here in the WWE. Every superstar wants to be the champion, and tonight's match is no exception. Again, the championship title at stake in this contest. And again, we reiterate, the championship title is at stake in this contest. Braun Strowman is a force within the ring. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. This match has been 100 mile per hour since the opening bell. Oh, and I don't see any slowing down in the future. This is a great matchup. I'm loving it. Sami Zayn has been eliminated. Braun Strowman, we have a winner. And a new champion, Braun Strowman. Here are your winners and new WWE United States Champion, representing the Wyatt family, Braun Strowman. New champion, I don't believe it. And neither does the former champ that appears to be stunned and astonished. Look at the look on that face. They can't believe it. Up next, we have a battle of numbers. It will be Brock Lesnar against a tuned group of combatants. A classic.
The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. The people still use marbles. We have Charlotte. In a match for the record books. These competitors are going to go all out in this one. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the champion from Parts Unknown, she is the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion, Marie the Queen Wyatt. This one's going to be electric. Oh, the champion looks to be in peak physical condition for this one. There is so much respect between these two. This is going to be one for the record books. What a night, ladies and gentlemen, that we have in store for you tonight. I'm Michael Cole, alongside the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And you know, Michael, I've been looking forward to this night for a very long time. Let's get it on. We're starting things off strong tonight. And she gets slammed to the floor. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. What do you think's going through Charlotte's mind? As the challenger, what does she need to do to win this thing? This is when all those hours in the gym finally pay off. A chance to become champion. A chance to forever have your name in the record books. I've got a good feeling about her, Michael. I think she might have what it takes to take down the champ. We shall see. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out. She's on a roll. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like that. I love when a diva experiments. If she takes more punishment like that, I'm not sure if her arm is going to be able to move at all. Her back is in some real pain now. Great offense by Charlotte. That back was clearly part of her game plan heading in.
beginning to look bad for her here. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. Let me interject this. When you have two divas as evenly matched as these two are, there's no way to predict what's going to happen. But hey, if she wants to be one of the top women here in the WWE, she has to be able to withstand offense like this. The champ to the top turnbuckle. What's he got in mind? And my, oh man, from the high rim district. I don't know what that's like. Here's a cover. One, two, no! Kicks out just in time. Yes, I can't believe it. He just kicked out. She's putting the entire Divas roster on notice here. Looking for the win. What could Charlotte do here to up the odds for success? But can she turn things around and defeat the champion here tonight? Uh -huh. Looks like we're about to see exactly how tough she is. This is such a painful hold. Hey! And she wills her way out. She's absorbing some offense here. She knows she's going to have to bring her A game if she wants to leave her gold intact here tonight. Let me just say that if she can't absorb this, then maybe she should start thinking about a career change. Yeah, but it's been a pretty even back and forth battle up until now. And it's Charlotte with a wherewithal to get out of the way there. And the taunting continues. She has to get back to her feet. It takes more and more effort. Charlotte reverses it. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. championship dreams are fading quickly what is keeping charlotte going right now could this be it i think so two. and a kick out of two i thought this one was all over king you can tell that frustration has begun to set in here man this girl's result never ceases to amaze me well that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room i gotta love it It look easy. Looks like she's hoping to make it a mat game now. Quickly into the cup with the title on the line. There we go. Oh man, the resolve this diva is showing right now is absolutely unreal. Unreal? Come on, King. You know what she's all about. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. This match has taken so much out of her. Woo, a little showboat. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. No! And now looking to put her away. There's the submission. She might have no choice but to tap. A minor miracle might go. Will she win it here? I think so. Two, three. That's it. The match is over.
Here's your winner and still WWE SmackDown Women's Champion, Marie the Queen Wyatt. Stay where you are. The long-awaited tag team battle is coming up next. Finally, it'll be the Alliance versus Team Big Cass. Ooh, these are a couple of evenly matched teams. This should be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the championship. And two teams will enter, but only one will leave as the victors. The challenger is staring a potentially career-changing victory. My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a so... Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of four and 95 pounds, T-Rex and Baron Corman, the Alliance. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 476 pounds, they are the Big Cat WWE SmackDown Tag Team and Enzo So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. A raucous crowd on hand tonight for Money in the Bank. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Colin King. Who do you like to walk away from tonight as Mr. Money in the Bank? Oh, you're putting me on the spot early, Cole, and that's a tough one. I don't think I'm ready to make that prediction yet because any one of these guys could realistically win that briefcase. This one should be amazing, Michael. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. Let's take a moment to talk about the challenger. What does he need to do to make sure his team comes out on top here? I like the pairing, Michael. These two work so well together as a team. What I'd expect here is his team noticing an error made by the other side and turning that around on them to pick up the win. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. You can't see that move every day.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have to see Colin Cassidy live and in person. He's like a tree with legs. He's got to be nearly seven feet tall. Yeah, and you can't teach that, Cole. At least that's what Enzo Amore likes to say. And you know, once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, if it keeps working, it keeps working. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. Aside from his overwhelming height, Colin Cassidy also brings a ton of street smarts with him to the ring, having grown up in one of Queens, New York's toughest sections. You know, Cole, you have a lot of street smarts. Sesame Street. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. Hey, look at Enzo Amore here. Challenger starting to falter. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. Come on, you and I both know that a little adversity isn't going to end this guy's night. In fact, it might make him stronger. Well, it's hard to argue that, but I'd say this one could go either way. And that one hurt his hand. Take cover. You could call this a good old fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Come on! Now he just wants that insult to injury. Yeah, this guy's a mean streak. This man needs business. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Baron Corbin is getting ready here. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Whoa! Don't get up. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Here's a cover. Two. Look at him out there, reaching for the tag. He can't wait to get back in the mix. And here's a cover. Whoa! His skull just bounced off the mat. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. That's like watching someone being manhandled. What force. No kidding. What a slam. And he goes for the pin. There's the count. Well, we have a new... No, no, the champion kicks out before the three count. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. The champ counters, and you see the result. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. My girl, we're going to see what this guy is made of. I don't disagree. And one thing I'll never do is count this guy out. Snake eyes. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Not 
this. Looks as though the champ is running out of gas. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. I expected a lot more from him here tonight. I totally agree, John. And I really thought we were going to see a lot more from him here tonight. The champ just one step quicker. He gets out of trouble there. Baron Corbin makes the tag. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. Oh, my gosh. Big time impact. Amore hits the mat hard. Yeah, well, welcome to the big leagues, kid. Enzo Amore finds a way out. Oh, man. That'll scramble your insides. He's really using his weight to his advantage here. Reaching on the head and neck. No. No. And he fights his way out. The champ counters, and you see the results. Ouch. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist. Whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not going to be comfortable for a while. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. He makes the tag. What an incredible suplex. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. This is it. Here he goes. We got a cover. That's a first. What a move. Definitely sets a tone for the evening. I like it. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. He saw that one coming. This could be big. A fever pitch is here in the WWE Universe. You're right about that. The crowd is buzzing. They're ready for this thing to get underway. Oh, he's obviously hoping to end it quickly. Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? Look out below. Out oh, of the ribs.
introduced by Chris Jericho back in 2005. The Money in the Bank ladder match has become one of the most anticipated matches on the WWE calendar. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. You just knew a match of this caliber was going to spill out on the floor eventually. I mean, when you put these two competitors together, anything's going to happen. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. tag team war we most definitely witnessed just that this was from bell to bell a clinic in tag team wrestling kudos to everyone i love tag team matches and that was one of the best i've seen in a while it may not always go according to plan but our tag champions always find a way to win plenty more action still to come here tonight folks Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. This is going to be good. It will be Ty Dillinger versus Goldberg. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. A raucous crowd. This will be a sight to see. Up next, six of WWE's greatest superstars collide. Man, I've been waiting a long time for this one. We have Undertaker taking on all comers. This is going to be a big one.
And here's one of the most iconic entrances in all of sports. Yes, sir. What an amazing scene. This journey to Undertaker's Battleground. That ring is just amazing. All eyes on that all-important Money in the Bank briefcase with the contract inside hanging from the ceiling. Amsterdam in the Netherlands, weighing in at 205 pounds, Alexander. Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 243 pounds, Bobby Roode. When you put six of the best the WWE has to offer in the ring at once, you know it's set to be a historic match. Yeah, and that's what we're looking at here. Not only historic, this could be match of the year. Yes, one of my favorite matches of the year, the Money in the Bank ladder match. New Jersey Shore, weighing in at 248 pounds, Diamond Dallas Page. Diamond Dallas Page making his way to the ring for what will undoubtedly be a great matchup. Yeah, anytime DDP steps into the ring, you can expect a great match. That's for sure. Very curious to see how well these teams coexist in this six-man tag team match. From parts unknown, weighing in at 220 pounds, Tim. Social media has been a buzz for quite some time about this matchup, and now we are just moments out from the start. Plenty of combustible elements involved in this six man tag team match. A raucous crowd on hand tonight for Money in the Bank. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Cole and King. Who do you like to walk away from tonight as Mr. Money in the Bank? Oh, you're putting me on the spot early, Cole, and that's a tough one. I don't think I'm ready to make that prediction yet. Because... Any one of these guys could realistically win that briefcase. This is absolutely fantastic. Mark 
champion of the arm now. He's been knocked out of the ring again. What do you think's going through the mind of the Undertaker as we start things off here, King? He's one superstar who will not stop until he achieves his goals. That's how dedicated he is to his craft. When you're not used to relying on two others, these type of matches can be tough to adjust to. I'll be interested to see how this one plays out. Now that's what I call tenacity, Michael. He's got that in spades. to stumble here to be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Come on, you and I both know that a little adversity isn't going to end this guy's night. In fact, it might make him stronger. Great point, John. And he doesn't seem too phased at this point. If he suffers much more, he may lose all mobility in that shoulder. Yeah, that shoulder could become completely dislocated. Perhaps we're going to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. It's happening, Cole, right before your very eyes. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. But there is no quit this guy. Trust me, this one's far from over. And you can almost see the pride on the faces in the ring right now, Cole. I mean, I don't anticipate anybody rolling over in this one. Do you? No, not at all. Uh-oh, trying to put him away. EDP may be in a bad way here to be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Not a lot of spring left in this step right now. Up, up, and away. Back inside the ring now. <laughs> Attacking his opponent 10 feet in the air. And I'm glad I'm down here and not up there. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. from that move. Uh-oh. Things could get real interesting out here. It's always interesting when they battle outside the ring. And I think he's begging it to bring it. You just knew a match of this caliber was going to spill out on the floor eventually. I mean, when you put these two competitors together, anything's going to happen. He's very close to winning this thing, guys. Oh, this is scary. I can tell you from experience, it feels like you're 10 miles in the air now. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Dishing out some serious punishment here. Careful what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. Superstars are as dominant as this guy. He's showing no signs of letting up. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. He drops the elbow. How's that for ferocious? Looks like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Yeah, brutal. Second time around. Seems to work, though. A nice reversal. We'll watch 
watching someone toying with their opponent. I don't know if the manhandling is going to end anytime soon, but this is almost inhumane. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have brought the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He's throwing bombs up there. He's relentless on that ladder right now. A vicious attack on top of the ladder. I don't know how wise this is, Cole. Oh, he's on Dream Street. It's just a matter of time now. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. And by now, you would have expected one of these guys to take control of this match, but it really hasn't happened yet. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. And I think it's clear that Diamond Dallas Page is feeling the physicality of this match. This could be the end of him at any moment right now. Well, he's not looking as good as he was earlier, but that doesn't mean he's done. Man, I can't believe these guys are even still competing. What a match. Uh oh, looks like this one's going out to the floor. Oh my God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He's just as dangerous on that ladder as he is on the mat. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. When this guy's on and his heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. <laughs> Thrown out with authority. Man, he hit hard. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. Toss to the outside. But yesterday's garbage. He's absolutely relentless here. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Still got work to do. We've got a climber. Check him out. It seems clearing the ladder is more important to him at this point. Whoa. I'm getting dizzy just watching him. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Wow. He's still down after that. Listen to this crowd. The man from Jersey Shore looked there, but we go. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have brought the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damage ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Higher and higher. He's got his hands on him. This could be it. Here we go. It's almost over. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Wait, nice reverse. Kind of sending a message of the see a superstar's own finishing move used against him like this. Man, that's almost embarrassing. The ascent begins. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. The neck isn't supposed to bend like that. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. And now he goes for it a second time. What type of competitor is favored when you step outside the ropes, King? Well, in my opinion, the more vicious, the more destructive person that's willing to do absolutely anything to hurt his opponent, regardless of the consequences, he has the advantage. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Tossed out like a rag doll. He dropped like a stone king. How many cliches can you and I use? He dropped him like a bad habit. Heading up. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. The 
some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. That, a move like that says it all. Yeah, you're just trying to embarrass somebody now. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, there's a good grief. Tremendous impact with that ladder. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Oh, and here we go. He's just seconds from victory. Any second, that thing's coming down. Still a long way from the top. Oh, look at this. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. Let's not count him out just yet, Michael. Everyone in that ring is taking good breaths, even the referee. I'm not counting him out, and neither should you. Oh, man. At this point, he's just risking serious injury. I mean, take it from me. One match is just not worth your career. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Up, up, and away. Getting back into the ring now. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Bang! Incoming! Ah! Oh, to the floor! If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Here we go. Careful what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. And he's the new Mr. Money in the Bank. What a turn of events. Here's your winner, The Machine, Brian Gage. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. Maybe Undertaker needs to go down. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this one. Oh, I'm not going to miss it. We have John Cena versus Kevin Owens. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Well, this guy looks eager to add some gold around his waist. Let's see if he can do it. The challenger is staring a potentially career-changing victory right in the eye. A raucous crowd on hand tonight for Money in the Bank. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Cole and King. Who do you like to walk away from tonight 
has Mr. Money in the Bank. Oh, you're putting me on the spot early, Cole, and that's a tough one. I don't think I'm ready to make that prediction yet because any one of these guys could realistically win that briefcase. This one should be amazing, Michael. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Yeah, and that's a message you don't want to receive. Guys, let's briefly discuss the champion. The champ has been here before. What do you expect from him in his title defense? That's a proud champion, Michael, for sure. But there's also a hungry challenger in that ring, and I have no idea which way this one's going to go. Well, earlier backstage, the champ seemed very confident that tonight would be yet another success. And the pain has to be shooting through his face. You have to respect that Kevin Owens knows what he wants and goes right after it. He's one of the most no-nonsense competitors we've seen in a long time. Yeah, but I'm not so sure Sami Zayn respects that. Kevin Owens wanted Zayn's NXT title and cut to the front of the line in February 2015 to take it. John Cena with the offense. Gonna feel that breaker in the morning. You're right, when he gets up in the morning, the only thing on his body that won't hurt is his pajamas. Champ not looking good right now. He's a true champion. I suspect he has plenty of fight left in him. Don't worry about this guy, Michael. It's going to take a lot more to keep him down. Oh, it's been a great matchup to this point, and this could really go either way. You'd have to think that Kevin Owens' brawling style makes him incredibly difficult to game plan for. First time for everything, I guess. And that one hurt his hand. Displaying a wide range of offense here. Wow, what power. John Cena has dominated as of late, and from the way it looks, this might not stop. There's the gut wrench suplex. Never saw it coming. Yeah, he may not be seeing anything for a few minutes. To your earlier point, Cole, there's no game planning for a guy who's going to come right at you like Owens does. The only thing I can think of is maybe run. Dangerous impact to the neck. Cena with a textbook counter. Yeah, you know, I know some people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, John Cena is so technically sound. Looks like he's starting to falter, and you know his number one contender, he had higher aspirations than this. Well, these guys have been so tightly matched up until now, but this might be where that finally starts to change. Given the amount of disrespect being shown throughout this entire match, it's no wonder the crowd is acting the way it is. The franchise, John Cena's letting everyone here know that he's in charge, he's in control. Thus far, this has been a phenomenal championship contest. Who will win? Who's going home with the title? And from the way things look right now, Cole, your guess is as good as mine. This has been so even, so back and forth. Who is going to win this thing? Again, the world champ. And into a quick cover is Kevin Owens. That was relatively easy to get out of. John Cena with a nice reversal. Let's not forget, this is for the WWE Championship. How could we ever forget that? WWE title on the line? This is the biggest match there is. Come on, let's do this thing. Quick history lesson. 
John Cena in 2012 was the first superstar to unsuccessfully cash in his Money in the Bank contract. Introduced by Chris Jericho back in 2005, the Money in the Bank lap match has become one of the most anticipated matches time to get paid now it's time for the money in the bank main event singles action on tap right now we have john cena versus kevin owens